Hey guys, Manuel Sanchez here. Have you been thinking of selling your house but don't know if now is a good time? Well, I'm here to tell you that now may actually be the best time to sell for the next 10 years. I'll tell you why. Thanks for tuning in to another video. I'll get started with what's on everyone's mind, COVID-19 and real estate. COVID-19 has impacted almost every aspect of our way of life and the housing market is not immune. What does this all mean to you home sellers in 2020? Well, there is good, there's bad, and like everything else, there's risks. So let's take a look at the good first. The good is that 2020 started off with high buyer demand. This was mostly fueled by millennial first time home buyers, historic low interest rates, and low unemployment. With low inventory and high demand, it was considered a seller's market. Now, in case you don't know, a seller's market is when the inventory is less than six months, meaning if we stop selling today and no homes hit the market, we would run out of homes to sell in less than six months. This is considered a seller's market, or to put it simply, it's basically demand is higher than the supply of homes. So the more people wanna buy and the fewer the homes on the market, then all these buyers start competing with each other and that drives prices up. And just as a side note, six months inventory or below is a seller's market. Six to seven months inventory is considered a balanced market and everything above seven months is considered a buyer's market. Coming into 2020, we had a buyer's market and we didn't really have many distressed sales, meaning we weren't seeing short sales and foreclosures. And as I said in my previous video, homeowners have more equity in their homes now than what they did back in 2008. Just to give you an idea, CoreLogic reported last week that 42% of homeowners own their home free and clear and 58% of homeowners have at least 60% of equity in their home. These are some pretty big numbers to consider of how well positioned most homeowners are right now to sell. Then of course, COVID hit and it threw us into a whirlwind of the unknown, but we're still talking about the good here, so stay with me. Coming out of quarantine and the lifting of the stay at home order, we saw a roaring return of high demand for homes. If you saw my past video, it is completely insane right now. Uh, people are buying homes left and right. So most of these buyers, of course, were locked down inside their homes and realized, hey, we need more space or we want a pool or, or they either wanted to move from a condo to a single family home to uh, take advantage of having a backyard. Google reported that 54% of searches in metro areas were home searches. This was along with mortgage apps having a 6% increase. But even after having said all of this, Many buyers that were considering selling back in January have not come back to list their homes, which means we still have a limited inventory. So sellers deciding to put their homes right now on the market, especially right now because we're going into summer, can expect buyers to compete for those properties, which will keep the prices high. It's a good window of opportunity for sellers to take advantage during these times and also Please understand that if you are selling your home, the real estate industry has adapted quite quickly and we have been taking the safety precautions to keep sellers and buyers and homes COVID free. I for one have been using a local company here in San Diego to disinfect clients' homes to ease their minds when buyers come through the door. And if you're curious what company that is, take a look at the uh, section below. I linked to, I put a link to their website. So that's good, that's all good for sellers. Now let's take a look at what's not so good. There's a lot of negative news that sellers need to pay close attention to because the risk to the downside could be huge. First, the current unemployment. Even though we have seen a bump in people getting back to work, which is awesome, I love it, I love seeing businesses open again, the unemployed numbers are still quite high. And at the end of the day, people need to have a job to be able to qualify for a home. Then there's potential business bankruptcies as businesses reopen, hoping that customers come back. A lot of businesses were affected during the shutdown and many believe that a bankruptcy surge is due to follow in four to six months after this reopening, which is obviously not a good sign for for employment and home sales. If we take a look at the three pillars of a growing economy, they are low unemployment, wage raises, and consumer spending, which right now, to be honest, we are missing all three of them. Even though most Americans got stimulus checks, they just weren't enough. And with current lending standards tightening, then how are buyers supposed to get a loan to buy your home? The new lending standards have knocked out 25% of buyers out of purchasing. Again, this is not a good sign for home sellers or for home buyers for that matter. So where does this all leave you as home sellers? Well, even after talking about unemployment and business bankruptcies and tighter lending that we could see in the near future, it is still the best time to sell because of the current high demand. 
This high demand may not last forever, and as more homeowners realize this, more competing homes may come to market. There's a solid buyer demand right now, and again, this may not last forever. So this is why I'm telling every home seller or anyone considering selling their home, right now is the best time to sell. So is it likely that your home value will increase dramatically in the next year or two? No, probably not. Could it potentially drop given everything that is going on and the repercussions that we could see? Yes, absolutely. The risks to the downside are huge and it could take two to four years to hit rock bottom and another two to four years to see any meaningful gains. Having said this, and you've seen the title of this video, this right now may be the best time to sell in the next 10 years. So if you're thinking of selling your home in the next 10 years and want to get the best price, then right now is the best time to do it. Remember that it's always better to do things before they become apparent, because by the time everyone realizes it's time to sell, then you should probably be prepared to have quite a bit of competition and potentially switch over to a buyer's market. If you made it this far in the video, I wanna thank you. I really appreciate you guys watching. I'm curious to know though, what your thoughts are on real estate and where the future of real estate is headed coming out of quarantine. Let me know in the comments section below. And if this video has added any value, then please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember that I'm your source for real estate in San Diego and surrounding areas. I'm a full-time professional realtor working for Compass San Diego. So if you're looking to buy or sell in the area, then please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm always here to help. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.